Hi there, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to create multi category charts. So you can see that I have three levels of categorization for my data, which is basically sales data. I've got the branch, then I've got the product category, and then I've got the sales source web store or account holder. So I'm going to show you how to create this chart. Now the key to achieving this type of chart is in the way you lay out your data. So you can see here that in the leftmost column of my data, I have the top level category, which is in our case, branch. So I have two sections of data here, one for Brighton and Hove and one for Chichester. And in the first row of the Brighton and Hove part of the data, I have Brighton and Hove as the branch name. Then underneath, I have no data in the rest of that column until I get to the Chichester section of the data. And then I have Chichester in the first row of that part of the data and then no data underneath in the rest of that column. Then I come to the first subcategory of data, which in our example is the product group. So I've got books, then blank sales underneath, then close, then blank sales underneath and so on and so forth. Then the level three category is customer type. So every item of revenue is labeled with a customer type. Therefore, I have no gaps in the data. So you will find that for your lowest level of categorization, there will be no gaps in the data within that column. Now, once you've got your data laid out in the correct way, just click in a cell in the data, doesn't matter which cell, go to the insert tab and you need to decide what type of chart you're going to create. So we're going to create a bar chart. So I'm gonna to go to the insert column or bar chart button and then choose a 2D bar chart. So I've got the beginnings of my chart here. I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. And you can see here we have the categorizations. I have my main category on the side here, then the first subcategory, and then the last subcategory. Now I'll just move this over here a little bit. And there are some visual improvements we can make to our chart. The first thing I'd like to do is to create a gap in the chart between the two main categories, Brighton & Hove and Chichester. Now the way to do this is to insert a blank row between these two branches. So above the Chichester row, I'm going to insert a blank row. So what I do is I right click on that 12 there and then click on insert. Then what I want to do is put a space in that cell in the branch column. So I just type a space in there, press enter, and you can see it creates two lines to separate the two branches. The next thing I want to do is show these bars in different colors. So I want Brighton & Hove bars to be a different color to the Chichester bars. Now the easiest way to do this, if I just move the chart out of the way again, is to actually put the Chichester values in a different column. So what I'm gonna do is select those values, cut, control X, and then paste them into the next column. Now to pick up the values that are now in column G, what I do is I select the chart, and I can see I've got borders around the cells that the chart is looking at. Now I'm just going to expand this little blue border out to include this new column, column G. And it now shows those bars in a different color. Now you'll notice that the bars are slightly offset now from the labels. It's because essentially we've got two series for each data point. And obviously one of the series contains zero values. Now we can fix that by double clicking on one of the bars. If I just scroll over a little bit, what you should see is some series options and you've got gap width and series overlap. Now you want to change the series overlap to 100% and you can see that the bars are no longer offset from the category labels. You can also reduce the gap width if you want to widen the bars. Now you can make other changes to your chart using this little plus button that appears top right of the chart. If I click on it, I get the option, for example, to show a chart title. I 
I could also show data labels on my bars, which means I could probably get rid of the horizontal axis. I could also get rid of my grid lines. At any point, you can change your chart type. And to do that, what I suggest you do is right click up towards the top area of your chart, near where the chart title is, and you'll see there an option for change chart type. So for example, I could change my chart type to a column chart. Now, for any reason, the categorization that we're showing here doesn't work for you. It may be that the option is turned off within your chart, and I'll show you how to get to that. I'll just close down this task pane on the right here, because it may not be open in your Excel. So what you would do is double click down here on the category axis. That will bring up the format axis task pane on the right of your screen. Now you need to make sure that axis options is selected across the top here. And then you want to expand labels. And if I scroll down here, you can see there's an option here, multi-level category labels. Now, for whatever reason that's turned off, you'll see that the categorization doesn't work properly within your chart. So you need to make sure that is ticked for all that I've shown you to work. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that is useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.